Walker Bueller now available. First questions from Dave Vasse. Go ahead. Hey Walker, what's the what's the vibe in the clubhouse? Uh, JT said you guys talked about making history. Is is it any different today than it has been in this entire season? No, um, you know we're still pretty confident in in our team, and you know obviously being three to one, there, there's going to have to be something kind of special happen, and and I think we have the ability to do that. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know I think. We're, we're a pretty consistent group, and um, that's definitely evident in, in the way that, that guys are feeling today. Now, yesterday, were you were you on standby to pitch the ninth inning if you guys had the lead? Um, I don't know if it was necessarily the ninth. I, you know, I, I did have my cleats on. I was ready to go. So, um, you know, I think there was a few scenarios, but they didn't play out that way. And, and you know, now I'm ready for tomorrow. And just one final one for you, Walker, just the, the start and stop of this entire year, let alone, you know, your individual start and stops. How, how has that affected you? The, where has it affected you the most as far as command and getting strike one? Um, you know, I, I think I can, I, I think I can pitch better than I have recently. Um, I don't know if it's all about the oil count, I, you know, that has been an important thing for me and is an important thing to, for me, but um, you know, it takes four balls to walk guys. So the, the first one, I don't think dictates that. I just got to be kind of more consistently in the zone. Next question is from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. Walker, your last time out, you had said that it was going to be imperative that you walked fewer guys and got deeper into games. Since that time, what have you done to, to feel like you're really working towards those two goals? Um, you know, I don't know if there's like a, a specific thing that, I, that I've done or anything like that, but just try and get myself ready physically to throw and, and mentally, you know, have probably a little bit more of an aggressive game plan. And, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything that I would say physically I've done different. I just think you got to have a certain mindset that, that may lead to those changes. Also mentioned mindset. These are the games that you guys are built for, that you think about your entire lives. What is it about your makeup that you think allows you to succeed in these moments? Um, I don't, I don't know if there's anything specific that, you know, about me. I think I've learned some, some kind of cliche techniques of, of how to take some, some breaths in certain spots and things like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, this is about making pitches and um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to do that in, in some spots previously. Dustin May has roasted the challenge on a lot of different occasions in which you guys have needed him the most. This is a completely different situation for him. A lot of pressure for a young arm. What is it about him that, and what you've seen that you feel that the situation won't become too big for him in an elimination game? Um, I mean, he pitched in the playoffs of the bullpen for us last year, obviously being his first year with us, um, I think, was the first kind of thing where you're like, all right, the, the, you know, he's got, he's got it in him, and and to pitch the way he did down the stretch last year, and then now, kind of the versatility he's shown, the ability to jump in out of the bullpen, and and be ready physically to make starts and and succeed in, in kind of both formats, I think, is a is a huge deal, and um, you know, he he's shown the ability to do that stuff, but at the end of the day, he's a starting pitcher, and um, you know, we're excited to watch him throw tonight. You get nervous still. You you won't be able to do anything tonight because you're pitching tomorrow. So do you do you watch this with any nerves or anxiety? Um, probably not. You know, personally or, or anxiety about what I may do. But you know, this is a this is a big deal. There's a lot of people in that clubhouse that have put in a lot of time and effort into into making this thing run and and run well. And and you know, tonight we have to win to to keep that going. So. I think all of us are going to have a, a little, little bit of nerves, a little anxiety, but that, that's part of the game. And um, you know, probably the reason a lot of guys keep keep wanting to do this so bad is because that feeling. It's it's an interesting deal. You you learn to enjoy that and and kind of crave it. So um, you know, our guys are going to come out and play well. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. 
Walker, we're seeing a lot of rookie pitchers succeed in this postseason. Do you think the unique circumstances, no fans and neutral sites, is making it easier for rookies to, to handle the pressure of the postseason? Um, I, I think I, I can understand why you would you would say that. I would also say that at the end of the day, it's about getting outs against the best hitters in the world. And, um, you know, it's definitely a different atmosphere, but, you know, it's different in, in a tough way. It is tough to kind of go through this season the way we have. And, um, you know, a lot of young guys have talent and, and can come and perform and, and – you know, across the league, they've done that all year. Dave just referred to uh, Dustin May tonight potentially having a Walker Bueller moment, referring to game 163 in uh, 2018. What made you able to have a Walker Bueller moment that game? Um, you know, I've, I've kind of said it before. I, I think, you know, kind of my success and failures that, that I had gone through in college, albeit it is college baseball, not not the big leagues, but, you know, I have failed on some pretty, pretty big stages at, at that point in my career. And, um, you know, just believe that, believe that you can do it, I guess. I know it sounds cliche and, and that's kind of not how I like to talk about it. But in this case, you know, I think learning from your failures and, and believing that because of that, you can, you can succeed is a huge deal. And, um, you know, got lucky to have it that day, I think a little bit as well. Thank you. Next question is from J.P. Hornstra. Go ahead. Hey, Walker, I know Dustin is a relatively quiet person, but does he ever say anything printable or do anything either on the mound or off that reminds you of yourself? Um, no. You know, and that's not, a, that's not a criticism. You know, there's a lot of things about Dustin that, that I envy. I think he's extremely comfortable in who he is and, and what he can do, and, and I think that is probably the similarity. I think it probably just comes out in a, in a little bit different form. Thank you. Thanks, Walker.